guys we are back with another video if you are new here my name is Sammy and we are the mermaid gang this is where you can come and suspend your disbelief I am a manifestation coach so if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever is between you and your manifestation go ahead and contact me below okay let's get into the video I told you guys in the last video, but if you're a new viewer here, what I did was I asked my group to give me some LOA roles that they would like me to discuss on my channel this week. So basically this week is LOA myth busting week because I don't like law of attraction. You're not attracting anything. It is your nature to manifest your assumptions create your assumptions create your reality. It is the law of assumption. I don't know where the law of attraction came from. I don't give a shit. I don't like it. So if you're an LOA person and you're dead set on your rules and you are not wanting to expand, this is where you exit. All right. So let's see. Let's pick a topic. No contact rule. Yeah, let's talk about that. Where do y'all get all these rules? I genuinely want to know. Why are there so many rules in LOA? Let's talk about the no contact rule. Why? If I know that that's my man and I'm good at revision just in case. I can revise on the spot. It don't make a damn what he says to me. I can revise on the spot. That's the case. Why am I not allowed to contact him? So if I'm living in the end in my mind, he's my man. You're telling me I don't take my man first? Because that to me, Sounds like some logical play hard to get type shit. And that ain't got nothing to do with manifestation. Now, if you just prefer, if you've been putting in all this effort and you're like, no, he gonna come to me. He's gonna put in the effort now. Then do you or she, she gonna put in the effort. I already did enough. Then cool, do that. That is your preference. But as for there being a no contact rule, first of all, bitch, this is my reality. Therefore, you don't place rules on me. I make the rules. And if I decide that I text him and he is excited, he is awaiting, he is awaiting, eager for my text, then that's what it's going to be because that's my reality. Now, if I do that before it is fully manifested and he gives me a response that I'm not that cool with and it ain't what I created. I'm going to know, okay, this is still my old manifestation. I'm going to revise. Okay, he told me, stop texting me. Well, in my head, you know what he just said? I'm so happy you text me. I was waiting on you to text me. I'm so happy to hear from you. I've been thinking about you all day. That's what he said. You know why that's what he said? Because I get to decide what he said. It's in my reality. I don't care what that little, that little... I message says I don't care about that but you are not gonna <laughs> no contact rule if you want to contact your specific person and you either are confident in the manifestation or you maybe you're in contact but you're you're always the one initiating it that's okay are you getting the responses that you want if yes then that is okay if not revise do what you want. If it is driving you insane and you want to text them, even just to see where you're at in your manifestation, it's okay. Stop letting people place rules and limitations on you. Do what you feel like you want to do. That is my biggest thing. Do what you want to do. Stop letting this world and people, even in a community where it's supposed to be about having amazing things that we never knew we could have and you're still trying to place fucking rules on people, fuck you. That's how I feel about it. 
Stop with the rules. If you want to reach out to your person, do it. But I always tell you guys, if you are going to reach out, be prepared to one, revise if you need to. Don't, don't react. Do not mentally react. Just revise. Just revise. But at the same time, you never know. You could get, say you, okay, say you want to reach out, but you, you want that response that you want, obviously. What you would do is just give it a week, affirm for the week, get it in there, get it saturated, really, really get it in there, affirm. They're so excited to hear from you. Before the end of the week, you might already have a text from them. It's just up to your preference. Stop letting people tell you what you can and cannot do. There are no rules. In your reality, there are no rules. In manifesting, there are no rules other than your thoughts create. That is the only set in stone thing there is when it comes to manifesting. There are no rules. No rules. No rules. I don't know who the fuck made up a no contact rule, but if you want to contact your SP, contact them. Like I said, just either be prepared to revise or affirm ahead of time. Get yourself in the right, you know, go ahead and get your momentum going for your manifestation and then do it when you feel comfortable. If you're feeling really anxious about it, don't do it yet. Affirm first. Affirm for three or more days first and then see how you feel about it. But if it's like driving you crazy and you just need to text them, I have so many of my clients message me like, I'm so sorry, I texted him. So? He didn't say what you wanted him to say? Well then revise it. And then we flip it, me and my client, we flip it. He said he didn't want to talk to you, stop texting me. We revise it. I'm so happy to hear from you. Oh my God, I've been thinking about you all day. That's what he said. That's what she said. That's what they said. We're never gonna be together. Change that to, I wanna be with you. I'm ready to be with you. I'm ready to commit. That's it, I'm ready. It's your reality. It's your rules. I know my videos are always kind of short, but like, I don't feel the need to make hella long videos. Like, I said what I had to say. There ain't no rules. There ain't no, no contact rule. If you want to reach out to your SP, Reach out to your SP. Who gives a shit? If you need to revise, revise. It's not that big of a deal because when you revise, it never happened and then they're going to turn around and they're going to give you the answer you wanted instead. They're going to say, I'm sorry, I was in a bad mood. I was having a bad day or something. It would, when you revise, it completely changes the whole situation, changes how they feel, changes their thoughts, and they will come back and say what you wanted them to say. Trust me, I do it all the time. Do it all the time. You think I argue vocally with my husband? No. I just say, okay. And within a few minutes, we're good. We're good. It's that simple, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.